the issue of um, we seen it to be like uh, the Asian markets having the say in the price and all that. What do you think this would be the implication on, on Africa? Yeah, so um, uh, definitely, um, like I mentioned, the implication is clear. I mean, especially our part of the world, uh, we are largely, we operate a very unique model where we import all that we consume as in hydrocarbon products, and then we export all that we produce. And that is unfortunate. And that, that has put us in a very dicey situation. See, Amos, if you are a country that you don't have strategic advantage in both upstream and downstream, you are bound to be hit hard when these dynamics don't go to your favor. And if you look at um, our price buildup, one of the one of the components that is that is accountable for you know increasing the price buildup is you know global oil prices and we don't have control over that as well as the taxes all right so as long as this global oil prices we don't have control over that and they take upward trend we're going to have you know pri prices at the pump going up and that's actually why we have price at the pump going up all right so the implication is that our economists until we are able to link up our upstream and downstream sector and make them both vibrant that we can take advantage when oil prices are going up and we can equally take advantage when oil prices are coming down if not that then we're going to continue to be in this you know ding dong and see situation whereby we don't have any clear strategic advantage